Okay, first of all, I gotta do a few things before I go to KBD. The Phenomenic Isles, I still did not have it completed. I did not want to go there with just a Berserker helmet like I have right now. I'm very sure you can just walk. You don't have to go. See? You don't have to go through the whole dialogue in the very end. Since you already got the reward. Here we go. That was a very short quest, actually. I thought it was going to be much longer, but finally I can equip the helmet. Okay, so I was just about to buy this lance, but then I googled maybe a Dragon Hunter crossbow is better. And it seems as most people are saying that it actually is better than the lance. So I'm going to go ahead and... So I guess the quests that I just completed are kind of useless because I wanted to get a good helmet if I can for like the whole day, the KBD. But for this, I'm going to have to buy a new Dragonfire shield that is specifically for range since I want to have more accuracy. Now also, I'm not sure if I included this in any of my previous videos. I know I recorded it, but I probably said, hey, I'm not going to include this in any of them. I cannot find my crystal pickaxe and I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> I have the axe. I definitely had this. I always keep them fully charged. Like, the, look, this one is probably going to have, like, almost maximum charges. You see, 19,000. And only now I realized maybe it's inside the graves. All right, let's see what kind of goodies I'm going to find in this one. No, it's not. So where the hell is it? <laughs> where where could I have put it? Can, can anybody tell me, where did I lose my crystal pickaxe? I just, I don't know where it could be. So even though I'm using range at the moment, it is still the best idea to get close to the King Black Dragon because range attacks or like the fire attacks actually deal damage. While if you're getting hit by melee, you're obviously protecting from melee, so everything is fine. So the main reason why I wanted to do the KBD is because I previously got a Black Demon task. And currently I have one as well. And I noticed how quick it is to complete it. It does it probably takes like one hour to do just like 50 it, probably faster because of the slayer helmet look at that 60 that was beautiful but yeah killing kbd for the whole day is really just for fun i want to see how many i can kill because my friend said you can do 50 an hour which would mean i should do over 500 kc just today and that's a quite a big kc and maybe I'm gonna even get a pet who knows pet would be if I get the pet I'm probably getting the hell out of here sooner because the loot is not that good most of the stuff you cannot pick it up like I'm gonna pick this one obviously but all these dragon hides you know you could use um, a looting bag uh, even though this is not wilderness and you cannot put anything in here however you can pull a lever and then put everything in you know inside the wilderness but I'm not gonna be doing that mainly because of the six second timer that the KBD respawns and it's just way too fast like you're just wasting time by looting everything also when we had the blighted super restores very cheap like 3000 each you could technically restore your prayer by pulling lover and drinking like cheap prayer potions and then coming back again but you cannot do that anymore let's see how this will go and let's see how many kills i can do current kill count is 116 oh i got a kpd head as i died i afk for too long this boss is so afk -able. <laughs> And they're gone. I didn't make it back in time. Look, another guy comes in. There we go. Yep, yep. Oh, he has a Slayer helmet. Watch this. He's going to actually crash me. And he's literally going to take this world. If he has 99 range, he's going to do that. I was thinking about baiting people. That's what I used to do at Dagnut Kings. Even if you're not on a Slayer task, just wear the helmet. So if somebody comes to crash you and they don't have the Slayer task, they're like, ah, I cannot crash this guy. There's no way, right? And why would you do that? Why not hop worlds? There we go, 60. Get the, get, get the hell away from this place, man. Oh, <laughs> suck it. He saw this draconic visage in the chat. Get the hell away from my world. So draconic visage is 1 in 5,000 drop rate. To get the pet, it's 1 in 3,000 drop rate. All right, so I'm bringing my other account now. It's the same account that I did Scorpio Duo. It's not that high level, 69 HP or something. So I want to see how much it could tank. Also, I brought some Ruby Bolt specials. I don't think I can get the kill with this account unless I like spay like three times in a row. And that should be at the very beginning of the kill. Uh, otherwise, it just, it's basically just to soak up the damage. But currently, it seems that I'm receiving all the damage. But I think if I went under it, and then allowed the other account. 
So I can uh, make it work, I think. To be fair, this is genius. I wish I had a couple more accounts. I don't think I have anything that's high level that's not like hardcore Iron Man. What? Uh, dude, this, this thing's worth more than Visage as well. What are these drops? Dude, look at my kill count, 283. I get a, I get a dragon pickaxe. You know how many hardcore Iron Man are trying to get a dragon pickaxe through KBD? Man, that's weird. That's just weird. Where's my pet, man? <laughs> if you give me these very rare drops, just give me the pet. It's 1 in 1,500 drop rate to get the pickaxe. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna teleport. Please don't be anybody. Okay, I, I could have been scared on my own account because I should see it very soon. Yep, that's me. So I'm gonna try to use melee because of blood ammo to fury. Now... Blood Amulet of Fury heals approximately 6% of the damage that you deal. So, because KBD has like 250 HP, you should heal approximately per kill 15 HP. Alright, here we go. I brought my alt account in here. So, I'm wondering how much HP I'm going to lose on each kill. Because you can see now it's drained, but now I healed a little bit. So, 91 HP currently. It's not as accurate though. Oh, <laughs> just as I say, I heal <laughs> at 49 damage. Okay, so full HP, you could say. Let's see the second kill, how that's gonna go. The good thing about using melee is that sometimes when you're really AFKing, sometimes you don't notice that you're like one tile like here, and he's never gonna melee you. Oh, that was 46 from my ult. Nice, it's gonna be my kill, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That's some free damage. 46 damage on the KBD. Look, I'm not even tanking. All, the, my ult is tanking every single hit. Look at that. I'm just healing at 97 HP at the moment. There we go. The very first hit I received. We gotta eat on my ult account. So I also thought since I brought quite an expensive gear right now, I thought I could use my ult account to supply myself. So if I need any prayer potions, I could literally bring full inventory of prey pots, die with it at KBD with my alt account, and then whenever I need, I can just trade them over, or just drop them, because they're gonna stay for one hour on the floor. Then I can die with, you know, some potions like super combats if I'm running out, and so on. So it just makes sense to use an alt account for things like KBD. Look, I'm so, I'm literally full HP, not anymore. But yes, you can see the HP is still going down. Currently, I'm at 27 HP. It just doesn't heal, it seems. I hit but there's no heals coming in. However, I did do, what, 8 KC at the moment. This is gonna be the 9th KC. And I still did not eat a single food. 9 KC. This is extremely well. What? Do what? Am I killing wildy bosses at the moment? 430 kill count to get another dragon pickaxe. I don't know what to say, honestly. It's very nice, though. That and added with Visage, it's approximately 12 million profit. However, I'm using Blood Ammo to Fury right now. Like I said, I wanted to test it out, but it's actually not necessary because I'm constantly bringing my alt account here. I die whenever I need to, and I bring like sharks and I bring, you know, potions, everything, and you just don't need it. So I'm genuinely just too lazy to leave this place. I still have 2.5 thousand more hits. As you can see, I have three KBD heads. I haven't banked since. I, I just keep like the, you know, like U logs and I don't pick up most of the stuff basically. So I'm not sure how the price check will go at the end of this video because probably there's not going to be one. I'm probably just going to show you Rune Light, how, what I got, but yeah, it's crazy. Another pickaxe, man. All right, this is going to be the last skill. To be honest, uh, this is the morning now, but that's because yesterday I went to sleep a little bit earlier. So technically I should have finished it yesterday, but yeah, it's approximately 50 to 60 kills an hour. So I've done 500 kills since I started, but I think it is time. Uh, I feel like now, okay, let's do just one more. Look at this inventory. Like I haven't banked in such a long time. You just don't need to do that. I did bank in the beginning. As you can see, it's missing one dragon pickaxe and a draconic visage. Now, the problem with the method that I was doing is that I couldn't bank even like black dragon hides because when I soloed, I could like, you know, eventually I run out of sharks, but I still fill most of the inventory with black dragon hides and like anti-play bodies, rune longswords, whatever else. I could have brought 
ALX, but I just checked the loot. It wasn't much. It was approximately 1 million in ALX. However, if I do this price check right now, it's 13.1 million is what I got. But this is extremely lucky. And from 600 kills, I shouldn't have gotten anything at all. The pickaxes are 1 in 1,500 drop rate. And the visage is 1 in 5,000 drop rate. So technically, if you take these off and if you're using that method, you're going to be using a lot in supplies. Like I got 800k, maybe, okay, let's include these two. And then it's 1.3 million. Maybe it's going to pay for supplies. Actually not because prayer potions are quite expensive. However, if you look at the actual total loot, now this is 600 kills. So I think this is... Um, not just today, but also when I was doing Slayer Taz before. You can see it's 23.4 million. So I missed 10 million of loot by just not picking up all that random stuff. But it's mostly in Black Dragonhide because that's worth 4 million and bones are worth 1.2 million. And then, you know, the rest are just Alex and the runes and so on. Also, 8 KBD heads, which... Seven of them were just in 500 kills. I swear, this is the Venezuelan's fault why dragon pickaxes are 4.2 million. You see them at Venonatus all the time. They used to be like 5, 5.8 even. Also, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the heads. I think I'm just gonna keep them. I could like slice them up and even sell like the unsold dragon heads. So they are actually worth like 30k each. Oh, I could put them in my house. But not wasting a room for that right now. Because I feel like it's um, a room that's only for the heads. And I don't want to do that. 